Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. This is the next episode of our Crystal Isles Let's Play series, and it's a brand new episode you guys have never seen. So we're going to head out to a very dangerous area in the savanna on the Crystal Isles, where there's some ant mounds where we can get a lot of chitin for making some pteranodon saddles. And we're also going to run into some dung beetles and try really hard to tame those while running for our lives trying to escape the T-Rexes and raptors that are all over this area. And we'll be really lucky if we can pull off the is tame without dying in the process. But this episode should be a lot of fun to watch either way, and if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, that helps us out a lot, and make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications so you'll see when our next episode comes out. So let's get started. So in case you missed our last episode, we built this little outpost up in the jungle. We'll probably expand that later, but we headed over to a nice little peninsula outside the swamp to get plant species X seeds. And these are gonna give us enough turrets for probably the rest of the game. And we'll be able to defend our bases and go into some really dangerous areas using those turrets to defend us. But the hardest part was actually getting those seeds, which we actually pulled off. Now it was out in this little peninsula you can see at the bottom of the screen here and uh, we'll pull out the map to give you an idea of where that was just in case you want to get your own plant species X seeds but do be warned this place is crawling with all kinds of dangerous stuff and uh, we had an alpha raptor just hanging around out there but thankfully whoa, whoa okay yep that that was uh what happens when uh, you hit the wrong key because you're getting used to a brand new keyboard? Yeah, so that, I almost died right there. Definitely would have fallen back into the swamp with those alpha raptors I was just talking about. So we will try to be a little more careful with the keyboard as we're getting used to it, but uh, might have to go back to using the PS4 uh, controller like I usually do. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we are going to head over and uh, actually try to get some chitin from the savanna because there are some spots where we can get hundreds of chitin in just a couple of minutes. There's these big ant mounds, which we can actually harvest using a hatchet. And that'll get us enough chitin to build several pteranodon saddles, which is really the next big thing we need to make a bunch of, because I'm hoping to have some friends join us on this series relatively soon. And uh, we've got a bunch of baby pteranodons, which should be ready to fly in the near future. And uh, we're going to want to have some saddles for all of those. It's also handy in case anybody dies because uh, I've got like one more saddle I think back at the base and uh, if we run out of that we don't have any way to get back safely. So uh, this savanna area is really dangerous. It's got lots of tyrannosaurs and raptors and all kinds of big dangerous stuff. So we're gonna stop in this little plateau, which is actually a lot safer. Uh, this is probably the safest spot we can land nearby here. And uh, I never thought I'd say that about the swamp because this is a swampy area. It's pretty dangerous. Uh, there's actually a lot of titan boas and things like that that'll come up out of the swamp if we're not careful. So we're gonna keep a real close eye there. And oh, nice, we got a little Tech raptor down there on the savanna, and uh, looks like he's got a friend, so we'll be real careful of those, but uh, that is actually pretty cool because, you know, we're still in the market for a tech raptor after we lost that last one. But if we actually pull off a raptor tame, you know, we're going to be able to uh, hopefully use a cryopod and not immediately lose it like last time. Still, still feel bad about that one. Okay, so these are the ant mounds here. And as you can see, there's lots of ants guarding it. We're going to have to be real careful because there are flying ants like this one. Yep, there is one. Okay. And those things can really mess us up if we're not careful. We've got a couple other ones coming near and the ones on the ground are a little bit slower. So we'll take these as they come. But uh, hopefully we won't get bitten and poisoned by them because we run out of stamina real fast if we get poisoned by ants. And uh, you can actually die real quickly if you... Uh-oh, we've got some raptors here. I'm gonna get out of here for just a second. Whoa, that was actually really close. <laughs> Thanks, Parasaur. Just run right past me and bring all the raptors with you. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out how to deal with these raptors, because if the ants come after us, and uh, sometimes there's more flying ants around, we may run into those, uh, we're in pretty bad shape if we run out of stamina, and that stamina depletes really quickly, and once you run out of stamina on a pteranodon, that guy is basically dead if there's anything dangerous around. And, uh, okay, so we've got a little bit of 
of distance from these raptors. I'm going to try to recharge my stamina here. And we're going to see if we can lure the raptors away from those ant mounds. Because in case you didn't notice, there were some really cool bright purple dung beetles. Oh, this guy is coming for me. Okay, great. That's actually exactly what I want. I want to be just close enough to the ground. Oh, don't fight that thing. I mean, maybe fight that thing. If it kills you, that's great. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, great. So I want to lead these raptors away from the ant mounds as quickly as possible, and it looks like that is working out just fine. We might have to try to tame that cool tech raptor. I love the orange color on that guy. It's actually pretty cool. All right, I'm going to take a risk and land up here and hope nothing big and dangerous is going to come down on top of me because, uh, you know, you never know when there's a T-Rex on top of one of these ledges just waiting to eat you. But I'm a little bit more concerned with these raptors here. So I need to keep them way down this side of the beach. Okay, great, they're over there. It seems like they're pretty busy eating everything in sight, so they're probably pretty high level. Uh, they're taking stuff down real quickly. I'm still keeping an eye out for the third raptor because there's usually packs of three is how they spawn, and... And uh, it's always that third one you don't see that gets you. All right, we're just going to eat some of these drones, and I think they're all dead. Sometimes they sit there for a minute, even though they're not dead, and then suddenly you're getting attacked by them. So you got to be real careful with these guys. But we'll try to... Oh, seriously? Uh, they just disappeared. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, I was really hoping to get some more chitin from those guys, but whatever. We'll have plenty from these ant mounds. So these ant mounds are actually one of the best and easiest places to get chitin, as long as we don't have a Diplodocus sticking his head through one, like that's happening right now. That can be it. Come on, guy. <laughs> really? You have to be right here? Okay. We're going to try this and hope that we don't end up chopping through his head or tail and have a very rude awakening. Now, Diplodocus like this can actually be somewhat dangerous because uh, they don't, like, try to kill you, but they try to push you around. Uh, I think their uh, aggressive status on the wiki says something like curious or something. Oh, oh, really? Okay, so we had some more ants in there, which just escaped from the ant mound as soon as we killed it. So this could be bad. We are poisoned right now. But uh, I'm fighting these guys on the ground instead of flying because if we can kill them without actually taking off, we're going to be saving more stamina. What are you looking at? Oh, oh I can tell this guy's going to be trouble. We're going to fly back up and try to recharge our stamina, which is still decreasing pretty fast because uh, we got bitten by those ants. So we're just going to wait for that poison to wear off, and meanwhile we'll drop all this heavy sand and clay that we picked up while we were grabbing all that chitin, but uh, check it out. We already got 75, almost 80 chitin just uh, from grabbing that one ant mound. And I'm going to try, now that we've got that, to tame some of these dung beetles. Looks like the raptors are still far enough down the beach that we'll be okay. I don't see a third one anywhere nearby, so it's possible it already died. But uh, if we can find some dino poop, I'm going to try to tame these dung beetles, because both of them are really cool looking. It's super helpful to have two if we can pull off the tame, but I at least want to get one. And uh, in case you haven't tamed a dung beetle, you actually have to feed them. Oh, perfect. Okay. Let's see, is this large? Oh, nice. Large animal feces. We could not have asked for a better source of poop. Okay, perfect. Got another one here. Is this one also large? Nice. All right. Just kidding. I actually love this Diplodocus because uh, he's giving us the absolute perfect taming food for these dung beetles. So as long as nothing dangerous shows up, which I'm sure something will, we're going to be okay. So let's go ahead and feed this guy. Oh, nice. 56% on one feeding. That is perfect. So uh, large dino feces is like kibble for uh, for these guys. These, uh, oh nice, got another little ant I can harvest while we're at it. The ants are actually a great source of uh, chitin too. And oh perfect, there's some more poop. So we got a pig over here, which these guys are also great at pooping all over the place. Looks like that's probably from him. So uh, this is actually really perfect. Like we've got a lot of poop around. Looks like those stegosaurs are keeping the raptors busy for now. And uh, you know, I think we got enough poop to actually tame both of these guys. So we got 56% on just that one feeding. And uh, so we might actually see if we can tame this second dung beetle too, because that would be super helpful to have two of them. All right. I'm seeing how fast he gets hungry again. It might actually be a little while, and I don't feel super comfortable hanging out down here because, uh, you know, it's just a matter of time before something dangerous shows up and tries to eat everything. But I do feel a little better having these Diplodocus and the, uh, 
you know, stegosaurs around. So let's go ahead and feed this guy too. And he is also coming along quite nicely. So this might be enough to finish taming this guy with these mediums. Probably at least two of them will be enough. And, uh, you know, we're going to be looking around for more poop soon, but, uh, okay. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not cool. Okay. We got a T-Rex. We have a Rex. Okay. He is like a block away. I'm really hoping this guy hurries up and is ready to eat quickly because I want to grab him and run off. I'm pretty sure my uh, Pteranodon can't carry one of these guys. I think they were just too big for a Pteranodon to carry. Now, when I'm actually planning to tame dung beetles, I usually bring along like a crossbow um, with a grappling hook and I'll just stick one with a grappling hook and fly off with it because you can just drag them off. Okay, I think that Stego is going to hold up long enough, hopefully, to uh, be able to tame this guy. He's got to get hungry sometime really soon, uh, and hopefully this medium feces will top him off. Uh-oh, I think that guy may have just gone down. All right, I'm keeping an eye. Nope, okay, this is bad. All right, T-Rex is up. we got to do something about this. He's coming for us. He sees us. Oh, perfect. I pooped. That's helpful. Um, okay, come on over here, guy. No, you come over here, not the dung beetles. I don't actually know if Rexes eat dung beetles, but I do not want to risk it, because we've already got that guy halfway tamed up, and he's so cool looking. There's probably five or six dung beetles around these ant mounds. There's, It's actually usually a couple of them there. Okay, okay. He is still coming for us. I gotta stay low enough. Oh, good, okay. He's busy again. That Stego should keep him busy for at least 30 seconds to a minute, uh, depending on how high level it is. Okay, great. So it looks like we're okay. I'm going to land here and see if he's ready to eat again. Looks like somehow that pig didn't get eaten. Oh, good. Okay, 93% tamed, and this one's ready to eat too. Okay, we might be able to pull this off, especially if that T-Rex roar made some of these guys poop, because, uh, oh, yep, there we go. Perfect. We could not have asked for a better scenario here, you guys. Like, that T-Rex is really dangerous, sure, he's going to try to eat us, but at the same time, when he roars, he makes everything around him poop, which is actually perfect because it's giving us more food to feed this dung beetle. Normally, I would have brought, like, a huge pile of poop if I was planning to tame these guys right now, but, uh... There we go. Awesome. Okay, we got this one tamed. I'm going to just pick him up and fly him to safety because that T-Rex is still just out. Oh, yep. He's after the pig now. He's just out of range. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to see if I can aggro him real quick. Okay, yep. He's mad. I, I love how they roar because it tells you that, uh, you know, he's coming after you. All right, we're going to try to drop this guy off. Hope nothing dangerous is up here. Let's just scope it out real quick. We're, we're doing a very quick survey. Okay, looks good. And uh, this guy should be very safe up here on this ledge, as long as nothing crazy comes up here. So, got one dung beetle. I'm going to tell him to stop following so he doesn't jump right off the edge where it's safe. And we're going to see if we can tame that second dung beetle. All right, we're going to grab that poop, get it ready to go, and... Uh, Here's hoping, all right, T-Rex is still down on the beach, a little too close to the dung beetles, but uh, I'd love it if those Diplodocus would fight him because that would be really helpful. Oh, come on, get back over here. All right, looks like he is still heading down that way. Oh, good, okay, nice. He is after the Diplodocus. He's gonna be busy for just a second. I'm gonna see if I can swoop in here and grab this guy while he's not looking. All right, this is really crazy, but we're gonna try this. Okay, okay, gotta get up here and run. Whew. All right. Somehow we've survived that. And he seems like he's still pretty busy. So we're going to get out of here as fast as we can and try to land next to this little ledge. Because, uh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. By the way, great spot for metal over here. Uh, we're going to show you on the map, once we're done with all this, where this is. But, uh, yeah, okay. I think, I think we're okay. I think we made it. So we're going to leave these guys here for now. Hopefully they'll be safe enough for now, because I think I can only carry one of them. I'm going to have to look that up, because I'm going to feel really stupid if I find out that the uh, Pteranodons actually can carry dung beetles. But I'm pretty sure I remember needing a grappling hook to do that. So, all right. Well, just had to check and see if that was worth anything. But we will grab this saddle, because even though we're not going to need... I think that was a Hyenodon meat pack or something like that. Oh, great. We're uh, super thirsty, too. So we'll grab some water down here real quick. Hopefully the uh, Rex isn't around. Also, by the way, in this spot, um, you end up with basilisks spawning. Actually, right this a very spot where I am right now, I've seen a basilisk. So be real careful of that. Watch out for their little tails sticking up. 
And it looks like the Rex finally ate his last bit of prey over there. The Diplodocus are all dead, and uh, it's a good thing because now the only thing he has to hunt is us. And we're going to try to not be there. So, this is a really cool looking dung beetle. I'm just going to try to pick this up, and, uh, okay, that was total fail. I'm going to recover a little bit of stamina. You actually use quite a bit of stamina when you first try to grab something. Now, we've got enough weight on this guy. We should be able to carry two if that's possible to carry them, and I'm going to feel really stupid if I find out I can actually carry this guy, but we're going to try it. Okay, yep, we hit him dead on. We definitely should have picked him up if that's possible, so I'm pretty sure Pteranodons cannot carry dung beetles. Unless I've got the uh, PvE flyer setting turned off, which I'm pretty sure I don't. Okay, cool. Well, somehow there's another Diplodocus surviving over here, uh, but it looks like we're pretty safe here on this ledge still. We're going to recharge our stamina here before we fly over the swamp. And I saw a Titan Boa over there. Man, that Rex is such a menace. He's just eating everything in sight, as they always do. Okay, so we got our dung beetle. We're going to head back up to uh, the jungle plateau over the swamp. I think we've got just enough stamina to make it. Now, hopefully really soon, we're going to grab some, uh, some metal and obsidian from this jungle and actually craft some stuff, which should push our level high enough where we can start taming things like Tapeharas and actually make the saddles for them. So uh, we're not going to have to worry about stamina being such a big problem once we get a better flyer. And we're going to try to tame a Tropiognathus as soon as we can ride one of those, too. I'm super looking forward to that. And once we hit level 65, we're going to try to tame one of those crystal wyverns. So, uh, looks like this spot is actually relatively safe in the jungle. Um, you know, we do actually have aggressive wyverns show up up on this plateau sometimes. Um, I've seen therizinosaurs. Carnotaurs are actually pretty common up here, so I'm being real careful to keep an eye out. But the great thing about this being a plateau is uh, if you get attacked by anything that's not a wyvern, you can just get it to chase you right off a cliff. Oh, perfect. So this is actually where a really good deposit of obsidian is on that jungle plateau. And this is why we've made this outpost right over here, because we can make quick trips with our pteranodons to grab some obsidian, fly right up to this spot, which should be pretty safe from just about everything. I don't think even wyverns are that likely to show up up on this high spot here. Whoops, still have my map out. All right, so we're going to drop our dung beetle off here. Uh, I'm going to grab some meat for him. They actually eat spoiled meat. A lot of people think they eat poop, but I don't think they actually gain food stats from the poop. So we're going to give them spoiled meat. They will eat regular meat, too. Uh, if you don't have any poop to feed them, you can actually uh, tame them with spoiled meat. But the poop is like, it's like using kibble on them, so... So, uh, mission number one accomplished. We got a whole bunch of chitin. We got like 90 of it, so we'll be able to use that for some backup Pteranodon saddles. Uh, once we have a Tropiognathus, we'll grind up that saddle we just picked up and get some good materials out of it. That's one of the abilities not a lot of people know about on Tropios, is they can actually be used as a grinder, and uh, they'll grind up and get some really good stuff for you. So we'll come back in a minute and get some more obsidian from this spot, but I've got to pick up that other dung beetle, and we're going to see if we can make it out with him, too, because uh, we definitely want to keep that dung beetle alive, right? So we're going to try to rescue him, and uh, if we can pick him up before something else dangerous shows up, we're going to be in good... Oh, I think I see a Therizinosaur in the background there. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So those things are actually extremely dangerous if you get close to them, but they're kind of nearsighted, so as long as you keep your distance, they usually won't aggro on you. But if they do aggro on you, they are a herbivore that is just about as dangerous as a T-Rex. So they're great for breeding a nice little fighting army because you can feed all the babies tons of berries and it's super easy to feed them. But uh, they are a relatively hard thing to tame and they will just rip your face off with those nice little tickly claws. So uh, definitely going to keep my distance from that one for now. We'll try to get him to chase us off a cliff if he comes near. So we're going to try to land for a second before we fly across this water. I don't think I quite have enough stamina to make it there. And uh, I saw a snake earlier. If those things bite us, we'll run out of stamina real fast and lose our pteranodon. Uh, and I definitely want to keep this thing alive. So uh, it's a good thing we got most of the stuff we need over here because it looks like that Rex is still rampaging around and eating everything in sight. But uh, there's actually like four or five 
five uh, ant mounds that'll spawn right around this area. So let me show you on the map where this is. So if you need to get chitin or keratin, uh, just grab some from these ant mounds. You can actually bring a frog and eat the ants and it'll grind it right into cementing paste when you eat those little ants too. And uh, apparently a megatherium can get thousands of chitin by harvesting the ants and the ant mounds. So that's actually really helpful. We have a whole guide on how to use those ant mounds most effectively. And check the link in the description if you want to see that. We'll have a lot of super helpful info on getting all the chitin and keratin you need. So we're going to try to fly back, but uh, real quick, I'm going to show you where this spot is because it's really scenic. Oh, cool stegosaur back there too. And there's actually a lot of metal here. It's one of the safer areas near the savanna if you wanted to put like a little outpost or something right here. And uh, whoa, 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 nope, nope, not cool. Hey, a Quetzal. Uh, yeah, I almost fell off again. It seems like every time I open the map, oh, no, no not cool oh gosh uh yeah that was bad okay i'm dead i died from stupidity um yeah i'm still getting used to this new keyboard and uh, i'm not sure if i'm just mashing the wrong button accidentally because it's just slightly off from my old one or if that was just some kind of a glitch opening the map but uh that's the second time that's happened and i gotta be real careful about that so that's a pretty dangerous place uh and it's quite likely that pteranodon and dung beetle will both be dead but we do have a spare pteranodon saddle and a couple of other pteranodons we can still use so we're gonna try to mount a rescue expedition and see if we can get there before something eats our pteranodon and dung beetle so uh, this is probably a good place to wrap up this episode but be sure to tune into our next episode where we will mount a crazy rescue expedition and see if we can get back out there before our uh, pteranodon and dung beetle get eaten so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, drop a comment let us know what you think or if you have any good tips for anything we did today like uh you know don't jump off your pteranodon in mid-flight like an idiot yeah um but yeah make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications otherwise it might not tell you when the next episode comes out but that should be coming out really soon within the week and uh, i hope you guys really enjoy that too so until next time i hope you all stay safe have fun and we will see you in the next episode Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media so your friends can enjoy it too. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to enable all notifications because we have lots of awesome new guides, tips, tricks, live streams, and let's plays for ARK and other awesome games coming soon and you won't want to miss any of that. We already have lots more fun and helpful videos just like this one, so check out the links at the end of this video to keep watching. You can also chat with other gamers if you join our channel's Discord at the link in the description. If you want to earn great rewards while supporting this channel, click the join link next to the subscribe button for more information about our channel memberships. We want to give a big thank you to some of our biggest supporters of this channel, Sabo0283, Cole Parmenter, Emmy Fisher, Wolf Girl Be Like, Kelly Razjak, and Ashley Owens. Thank you all so much for everything you do to make this channel possible. So until next time, we hope you have fun on your own video game adventures, and we, we will, will see you, you in our, our next video. video.